My weird school. Fast facts. Dogs, cats, and dung beetles. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter Four: The Biggest and Smallest Animals. Elephants are big, duh, right? An elephant's trunk alone has around forty thousand muscles in it. Its teeth can be more than eight inches from front to back, and each tooth can weigh more than eight pounds. Its brain is nearly eleven pounds. I guess that's why elephants never forget. The African elephant is the largest living land animal, with the males weighing up to seven tons. They should go on Weight Watchers, if you ask me. It worked for my mom. But the elephant is not the largest animal in the world. That would be the blue whale. It's almost a hundred feet long and can weigh two hundred tons. Its heart is the size of a small car. It could fit three school buses inside it. Some of its blood vessels are big enough to crawl through. That is, if you enjoy crawling through giant blood vessels, that sounds yucky to me. By the way, do you know why elephants look so wrinkled? The green anaconda is the world's largest snake found in South America. It can grow to be more than twenty-nine feet long and weigh over five hundred pounds. The largest reptile in the world is the saltwater crocodile. It can reach twenty feet long. You probably don't want to flush one of these guys down your toilet. Giraffes are the tallest mammals in the world. They can reach food nearly twenty feet off the ground. The southern elephant seal is the largest meat eater in the world. The males are usually five or six times heavier than the females, almost nine thousand pounds. I guess that's because they spend too much time sitting around watching football. Seals don't watch football games, Arlo. They should. Watching football is cool. The Namora's jellyfish is found off the coasts of China and North and South Korea. One of them can weigh up to four hundred and forty pounds. That's about the same weight as a male lion. The ostrich is the largest bird in the world. The males can reach up to nine feet tall. And weigh almost three hundred and fifty pounds. Naturally, ostrich eggs are the largest bird eggs in the world. They can weigh three pounds each. The largest bat in the world is the giant golden-crowned flying fox, a fruit bat from the caves and rainforests of the Philippines. It has a wingspan of almost six feet. Then there are the big, small animals. The African giant snail can reach up to eight inches in length. That's big, for a snail. The Titan beetle is the world's largest beetle. Although I've heard that Ringo was pretty big, it can grow up to six and a half inches long and has a jaw so strong that it can break a wooden pencil in half. The Goliath frog from Africa is the world's largest frog. That's not saying much. It's only a little more than a foot long, but it eats everything from fish and insects to other frogs. By the way, do you know what you call a girl with a frog on her head? Now let's get really small. The bumblebee bat from Thailand is the smallest bat, about an inch long. It's about the same size as a bumblebee, so it has the perfect name. The bee hummingbird lives in Cuba and is the smallest bird. It weighs about as much as a dime. It also lays the world's smallest eggs, which makes sense. In the Amazon rainforest, pygmy marmoset monkeys are only about six inches tall. They're known as pocket monkeys.
The Pedo Cypress progenetica is the world's smallest fish. It grows to about a third of an inch. It's found in Sumatra. The Brookhija micra is the smallest chameleon. It lives in Madagascar and can fit on the head of a match stick. Thread snakes are the world's smallest snakes. They're less than four inches long. The world's smallest tortoise is the speckled padeloper from South Africa and southern Namibia. The adult males are just two or three inches long. Adult females are a little bigger. In Indonesia, Denise's pygmy seahorses are about the size of your fingernail. The brain of a fruit fly is about the size of a poppy seed, sort of like yours, Arlo. I'm just going to ignore that because I'm mature, not like some people I know, Arlo. It just so happens that having a small brain doesn't mean the animal is dumb. Even insects can solve problems and learn things. Bumblebees have nearly a million brain cells. They can be taught to push a ball to the center of a platform to get a sugary cheat. Honeybees do a little tail-shaking dance called the waggle to let other honeybees know where to find flowers that have a tasty nectar. The smallest spiders, the patu digua, are found in Colombia. They're about the size of the period at the end of the sentence that ends this chapter. Chapter five: The fastest and slowest animals. We human beings can go pretty fast when we're in cars, planes, chains, and rocket ships. But just using our legs, we're not all that fast. Some animals can beat us easily. Horses are pretty fast. That's why they have horse racing. But did you know that ostriches can run faster than horses? The maximum ostrich speed is about forty-five miles per hour. They can cover sixteen feet in a single stride. When it goes into a dive to attack its prey, a peregrine falcon can fly two hundred miles per hour. How fast is that? In the 2016 Indianapolis 500 race, the winning car had an average speed of 166 miles per hour. The fastest sea animal is the sailfish, which can swim 68 miles per hour. If my dad drove that fast on the highway, he'd get a ticket. An average dog can run about nineteen miles per hour, but greyhounds can run forty-five miles per hour. They're the fastest dogs on earth. Lions, gazelles, and elks can run really fast too. But the fastest land animal is the cheetah. A cheetah can go from zero to sixty miles per hour in just three strides. They can also stop really fast. Did you ever hear the story of the tortoise and the hare? A brown hare is just a little thing, but it can run as fast as forty-seven miles per hour. That's way faster than the fastest human can run. But the tortoise always manages to win the race by using its brains. So a slow-moving animal can be faster than a fast-moving animal. And speaking of slow animals, if you look up sloth in the dictionary, the first definition is all about laziness. So sloths, which live in Central and South America, are really slow-moving. In fact, they're the slowest-moving mammal. They take their time doing anything. How slow are they? When a sloth eats a leaf, it takes about a month to digest it. The three-toed sloth is so sedentary; algae can grow on its back. Turtle racing is a thing. It works like this: 
A bunch of turtles are placed in the center of a circle about the size of a kitchen table. The first turtle to make it out of the circle is the winner. Can you imagine? People must like watching turtle races, though. There's a giant turtle statue in Boisevain, Canada, to commemorate the old Canadian Turtle Derby. And Longville, Minnesota, calls itself the turtle racing capital of the world. Speaking of lazy, how about cuckoo birds? They don't build a nest for their eggs. They just sit around and wait until another bird leaves its nest, and then the cuckoo will drop its own eggs there, so the other bird will have to take care of them. That's not very nice. You think that's lazy? After a giant clam picks a place to live, it doesn't move for the rest of its life. Sounds like my grandparents. Seahorses are the slowest moving fish. They are lousy swimmers. They move by using a tiny fin on their back that flutters up to thirty-five times per second, but they hardly get anywhere that way. The Gila monster is a scary-sounding lizard that bites and injects poisonous venom into its victim. But don't worry. If one of them starts chasing you, just walk away. It can't catch up. Manatees are in no rush to get anywhere. Maybe that's why they're also known as sea cows. Of course, manatees weigh over a thousand pounds. If I weighed that much, I'd have a tough time getting around too. The American woodcock is the world's slowest bird. It only flies about five miles per hour. Sheesh! Take your time, why don't you? Nematodes are microscopic worms that feed on bacteria, fungi, and other nematodes. But they don't bother chasing bacteria around to eat. Nematodes are so slow; they just wait for the bacteria to come to them. But if you ask me, the slowest moving animal in the history of the world is the garden snail. It moves at a top speed of about fifty yards an hour. At the World Snail Racing Championships in England, yeah, that's a thing too. A snail named Archie covered the entire course, thirteen inches, in a blazing two minutes and twenty seconds. Wow! Archie left all the other snails in his dust, or in his slime, anyway.